So it's Royal Rumble Sunday, and it's time for another Triple Threat video. What am I going to talk about this week? Well, I'm going to talk about Justin Gabriel, Triple H, and Brock Lesnar. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Oh, God. So reports have surfaced this morning that apparently Justin Gabriel has decided to quit the WWE. And I've seen a lot of different people post about this and give their thoughts on this. And you know, I never understood why this company backed off of Justin Gabriel as much as they did. Here was a guy that at one point in time, if you were remembering right, they were featuring him like he was going to be the second big star out of the Nexus. I mean, if you really think about it, with that 450 splash he was doing, they were featuring him in certain ways, especially in match situations, as being the next biggest thing compared to Wade Barrett. If you think about it, you know I'm right about this. So we've gone from that standpoint in that time to a guy that gets totally put, de-pushed, totally buried, down on NXT, not even being utilized there, to now the point has come where he's decided that it's so bad that he wants to quit. Think about this. You reach the so-called pinnacle of sports entertainment or professional wrestling. It's got to take a lot for you to just want to quit and walk away from it. So I should tell you just how frustrated and fed up Justin Gabriel was, and who the fuck could blame him? I mean, now I'm not going to sit there and ever say that Justin Gabriel was bound to be a main event player or a big, big, huge time star. But here was a guy that could do some of the things that the hardcore fans like. Here was a guy with this kind of emo-ish look that the girls were really going to like. I saw a potential mid-card high flyer babyface that could draw some money at some point in time. And especially for a company that proclaims themselves to be so international, here was a guy from South Africa that could help you expand into an African market that is only going to grow in its importance for you as time goes along. Here it is on a silver platter, and you do nothing with it. And when the WWE Network is so important and vital to the future success and growth of your company, you would think that you would take care of certain individuals that are going to help bring you certain markets. So I never understood why the WWE just backed off of Justin Gabriel so much. I never understand that. Why can't this company seem to push more than a couple of the same old cats and then sprinkle in one or two new guys and then everybody else is fine? How could you not find something for Justin Gabriel to do? How could you not find a way to get the crowd behind him? I talk about the whole thing of creative has nothing for him or this guy can't give over. He's just another guy of many that was never given the opportunity, that was never given a chance. And any time he actually did try to get over and maybe did start to get over, of course the WWE would yank the rug out from under him. So I can't blame Justin Gabriel for quitting. I'm sure he's not going to be the last guy that gets so fed up with this crap that he's just going to sit there and not want it anymore. You know that's bad. When people are quitting the biggest show around, that's a bad thing. If anything, that's what Justin Gabriel's quitting should tell you. And it's sad and it's disappointing and he sucks because he could have been a guy that could have at least meant a little something to the company. And of course, like so many other guys, he ended up meaning absolutely nothing. Now, of course, the internet world was all ablaze with comments and love for Triple H and his consoling of a fan Monday night on Raw. Apparently he did something during that main event segment that got the fan all upset, so Triple H kind of turned and looked and went over to him, and it appears that he consoled him. And people are praising him and talking about how wonderful it is, showing the human side of Triple H and the WWE. They brought him backstage. Oh, what a happy fucking story. Well, I ain't fucking buying it. First of all, what happened to professional wrestling being professional wrestling? I remember being a kid at one point in time, and I can remember things happening, especially to my hero, Hogan, or a warrior, or what have you, and if it got that bad, hell yeah, I fucking cried, I ain't scared to admit it, and it was part of it, it was about getting engaged, it was about getting emotionally invested, damn it, to the point where they could get me to such a level, where they could evoke those type of emotions out of me, they had me for life, and they still have me for life in part because of it, but now, this industry has changed so much to where we're consoling, crying fans? What the fuck is wrong with this business? I know a lot of people are going to call me the Grinch and call me an ass for saying this, but fuck it, I don't care. Screw that kid. If he's crying and he can't handle it, maybe he doesn't need to watch. 
Or maybe we need to stop with this pussification of America and we need to teach that kid to toughen up. Or if anything else, that's the whole motivation behind the business is you sit there and get the fans invested, get them to hate the heels so that way they come back the next time to see the good guy triumph over evil. But even more importantly than that, I see through your bullshit, God. I know what you were up to. And I can't believe that everybody else is falling for this crap. But maybe I should. You want to know what Triple H was doing? You really want to know what Triple H had in mind? He realized that he's 0 for 3 when it comes to making a son. He realizes that he might have put one in Stephanie, and more likely than not, it's not going to have the chromosome it needs to have a penis, meaning he's going to have a fourth daughter. He went over there to try and tell that kid that his parents don't love him and that he's running the WWE and someday this company is going to be his and that he's always wanted a son that could someday carry on the legacy. You want to sit there and talk about this and talk about that? He brought the kid and his dad backstage so that way he could dry it try and adopt the kid away from the freaking parents so that way Triple H can say it was my son all along and that the lifeline, the blood of the WWE will live on forever. Ugh. If you believe that Triple H was just simply consoling that young fan, I have news for you. You are sadly mistaken. He saw an opportunity and he attempted to pounce. If he can't make a son out of his loins, then he's going to try and buy one and that's exactly what he did and that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And I talked about this months ago. The fact that if Brock Lesnar was going to be away as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion for an extended period of time, the WWE would take him from being a special and big attraction to being no attraction, and then worst of all, <clears throat> the wrong type of attraction. And as far as I'm concerned, I've been validated. As far as I'm concerned, I've been proven 100% right on this. He was gone for about three months. And he comes back and he's not that much of an attraction, frankly. But then, as he's featured a little bit more, he transcends into becoming the wrong type of attraction. Let me get this straight. The guy that ended the streak at WrestleMania 30... The guy who smashed and dashed all over John Cena with 16 suplexes at SummerSlam is now going to be a full-fledged babyface? I talked about it after SummerSlam, was that he was the top babyface in the WWE now, whether the company realized it or not. And unfortunately, that probably meant they were going to eventually have to go on that path. Well, they most certainly did. And I'm just completely at a loss for why they would do this. I would have thought part of the whole reason for having him take, beat Taker Street and having him do that to Cena was so that you could create this ultimate monster bad guy so that way some young babyface hero could come along and save the day and you make a new big hero a new big star. Well, now you've totally negated all of that by turning Brock Lesnar freaking babyface. What's next? You're going to have Paul Heyman flip on him and align with Seth Rollins? So we're taking the guy that we should hate because he smashed Cena in the end of the streak and now making him a lovable Brock smash monster babyface. The WWE is so goddamn stupid. It's one thing if the fans rebel and they're just going to go against you regardless of what you do. You can only control what the fans are going to want to do so much. And the fans have the right to do whatever the fans want to fucking do. But when you are flat out going out of your way to give them that, when it is, in my opinion, the wrong thing for business, especially when you're looking at this guy saying he might not be there past WrestleMania 31, why in the fuck would you make him the good guy on the way out? Makes absolutely no goddamn sense to me. The only way it would make sense, if they're going to have Rollins win the Royal Rumble title match on Sunday and maybe flip Paul Heyman over to his side. And then what the fuck are you getting? And then you're going to have Brock Lesnar enter the freaking Rumble? Or is that title match going to be? It just, just makes absolutely no fucking sense. The guy that ended the streak at Smash Cena is now the top baby face of the company. And it didn't happen organically in part. You fucking packaged it and presented and featured him in a way where that would be allowed to occur. This company is so goddamn stupid. They can't follow through right on any goddamn thing. Now Brock Lesnar is supposed to be the big conquering hero? Vince has lost his ever-loving fucking mind. So let me know what you think about Justin Gabriel quitting the WWE. Let me know what you think about Triple H. Do you believe the media propaganda? 
Or do you recognize this as a Zionist conspiracy to really, truly spin away and deflect from the truth that he was trying to get himself his son? And what are your thoughts on the WWE just saying fucking and going all in with Brock Lesnar as a babyface? Let me know your thoughts on everything down in the comments section below.